with uh, uh, classes that have subclasses and so with polymorphic variables uh, there um, is the uh, static type of the variable uh, which is the declared type of that variable and the dynamic type which is the type of the object currently stored in that variable um, when uh, um, the compiler uh, uses type checking it looks at the static type uh, while the um, runtime method lookup uh, looks at the dynamic type uh, this enables to uh, have uh, more flexible structures with overriding. Uh, whenever um, a super type variable uh, uh, um, is used to make uh, a method call, uh, the um, specific uh, method of uh, that particular subtype uh, that is stored in that variable uh, will be executed. So this ensures that uh, a method call uh, from different classes uh, can react differently um, can react differently uh, based on the on the particular implementation based on the uh, dynamic type of uh, the, the, the variable uh, so uh, the superclass uh, method can be used uh, when overriding a method uh, by calling the, the, the super method uh, and fields and methods can have a protected um, accessor, uh, access modifier uh, which enables to um, give access to subclasses for these uh, fields and methods. So this is the summary of this chapter and uh, the concepts that were, um, were uh, where in this chapter uh, are static type, which is the type declared, uh, the, the declared type of the variable, uh, then the dynamic type, which uh, is the type of the object uh, currently stored in the variable, uh, polymorphic method. Uh, so, um, a method call can um, invoke different method calls based on the dynamic type uh, of the variable uh, um, to which the call is made. Then to protect and the protected um, access modifier uh, which gets um, uh, which gives access to subclasses for fields and methods with this modifier uh, to string uh, is a method that every object has uh, which returns a string representation of the object uh, and it's more useful when it's uh, when um, overriding 
is uh, when overriding this method. Uh, overriding is um, at um, is the modification of a um, of a, a method in the superclass uh, which has the same header of the method of the superclass but has a different body uh, and this method uh, will be uh, preferentially called uh, when uh, uh, when a call to, to this method is done uh, 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 because of uh, uh, this um, uh, method polymorphism um, uh, the, the one that will be chosen will be the one of the uh, subclass first if it exists uh, so in the exercise uh, there is a, uh, this, um, a question about uh, uh, what uh, uh, get name method will be um, will be uh, called uh, uh, when uh, a printer is a subclass of the of uh, a class named device and uh, um, a variable uh, uh, dev uh, of type so of static type uh, device is assigned a dynamic type of printer uh, and then uh, get name is called uh, to this variable dev uh, then uh, 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 the superclass at least must have this uh, method to name in order to uh, get name uh, in order to uh, have uh, uh, the application compile uh, but when uh, uh, this uh, method is overridden by the subclass then uh, the uh, subclass method uh, will be uh, will be invoked then uh, about uh, the student uh, variable I mean the um, student variable of type student uh, to which uh, to string is called uh, when uh, no to string method is in this class uh, what will happen is that uh, the default the default implementation of to string uh, will be uh, returned uh, so uh, it's basically the uh, name of the uh, class which is student and the place in memory so a number um, but if um, it is called uh, if uh, println is called on this uh, by passing uh, this uh, student variable uh, this variable of type student to uh, the println uh, method then uh, the same thing will happen uh, because uh, it's not a string. Uh, it's it's not a variable of type string. Uh, so println will automatically call to string to it. So it is analogous to the previous example. Uh, 
uh, and it will uh, return the same. Well, it will not return, but it will. Uh, and now I don't remember if in the original code, uh, two string returns, but basically. Um, No, okay, it doesn't return. So uh, it's just that uh, there is this uh, variable s, say string, to which uh, this uh, uh, name uh, and the place in memory is assigned. Uh, while with uh, println, the difference will be just that this uh, same information will be uh, printed to the output. And uh, then uh, there is this uh, um, uh, question about uh, what will happen when uh, to string is overridden in the class. Uh, it will, uh, of course, compile. Uh, and uh, uh, when println is called uh, passing the parameter uh, passing uh, uh, st as parameter uh, then the, um, a string representation with the name of the student uh, will be um, given on the output and since uh, there are multiple uh, objects of type student uh, in um, um, in a list then uh, all of these names will be um, uh, put into the output and uh, for an example of uh, uh, variable x with uh, uh, dynamic um, uh, type d and static type s uh, it will be um, an assignment uh, a statement like uh, s x equals uh, t well no uh, uh, so yes so it's s x equals uh, d nu d this is uh, um, statement that will make the variable x have static type s and dynamic type d. Uh, 